Hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger. Here I am doing yet another commentary on one of my animations. I've been dreading to do this one. Crack It Chaos. Let's just say some troubled production history and some criticisms I've been getting caused me to end this um, French, this uh, mini-series prematurely instead of what I originally had in mind. Because I was really into Wreck-It Ralph at the time. When I watched it again and on DVD, I was like, oh, I want to do a parody of Wreck-It Ralph. So um, here's what I had in mind for the teaser. This summer, Chaos is back. But something has changed him. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. And there's Brawl and Molina from Transformers World for Cybertron and Mortal Kombat. And it says crack -It chaos like the logo of crack -It Ralph. And uh, there's Vanilla uh, Celestia or Derpy as Vanilla Yvon Sweets. Now let's go over some bits here. Now originally, um, now again, um, Bra Transformers World for Cybertron and Mortal Kombat were things that were games I was really into at the time. Then the bloody you know, when Melina's arms fell off; they were bleeding. It was referencing the fact that, of course, Mortal Kombat would do something like this. But um, my friends told me not to include that scene in the in the final version, and otherwise uh, I'll be called out for including some bloody and gory violence. I think I'm, I think my fans made a good call on me to remove that scene because uh, and with the YouTube algorithm and forcing uh, no more. Um, Enforcing no more uh, bloody stuff. Otherwise, you won't be able to get monetized. Hmm. Yeah, it must be very hard to uh, mon to get Mortal Kombat ads on. So, um, and as for um, as for the um, Derpy and Celestia thing, then it was also I was also for interested. I was also really interested in at least three different franchises at the time. Skylanders, My Little Pony, and Transformers. So I had uh, three different I um, franchises reenacting each of the original franchises in Wreck It Ralph. Um, Wreck It Ralph will be represented by Skylanders. Have Ralph, Chaos as Ralph, Spyro as Fix of Felix, and the and the Skylanders as the Nice Landers. That rhymes. For um, My Little Pony, we have since it's mostly. Uh, "Quote unquote girly and very pink and stuff like that." I thought, uh, my, "Why not My Little Pony represent it?" Yeah, it's got some cute characters and a lot of bubbly and sweetness. My Little Pony fits right in. Um, I chose Celestia or Derpy for Derpy because of Vanellope's uh, bubblyish personality, like and something like that. Or oh, I just wanted. Oh, I just really wanted to do Derpy. And as for Celestia, I, I chose her because, uh, spoilers, if you haven't seen uh, Wreck-It Ralph, the first movie, um, somebody else had a, was a rightful ruler of Sugar Rush, the Candy Kingdom. And uh, this film was supposed to be, was supposed to, it says, it's supposed to be, according to this, it was supposed to be this summer. So I was originally supposed to have uh, it, or at least uh, a part of it, I made this in March. It was originally supposed to be um, released uh, in around June to July of 2013. At least the first part of it. But what happened is that my um, I accidentally dropped a bit of my... Um, I accidentally dropped a bit of my... Um, uh, how do I say this? My uh, hard drive. And this caused a bit of, mal of a malfunction on my drive, so I'm unable to use uh, my hard drive for a bit. It, and much of my file animation files were stuck. It took me about seven months to have it fully recovered before I could re resume production of Crack It Chaos. And when I did finally... Sorry, there's a bit of an ad... When I did finally get to Crack It Chaos, this is what's the ending result. See, the giants are representing the, the defenders, like the guards. And these are eggshells, and there's a Chaos. <laughs> He's smelling some breakfast. And he wants to eat this giant egg. I'm gonna crack it! But first, 
Now, unlike Wreck-It Ralph, you know in the Rare Turtle Wreck-It Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph was, uh, the reason why Wreck-It Ralph who smashes the building is because uh, they moved his house, which is a stump, and he was going to wreck the building for, for revenge. For Chaos, he just wants to eat something. I think I might have gotten this idea from uh, from that Timon and Pumbaa episode focusing on the hyenas trying to eat an ostrich egg. So what they did is that they had um, hot dogs for sale, and um, they're going to have... Um, So they tried some hot dogs. Um, <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> and they start to get knocked out. <laughs> Sleeping spice. And now he starts to crack the egg. Seal it, Spyro! I didn't add in the animation thing. It's because uh, it's to portray them as a bit choppy, just like the nice landers. Now here's seal it Spyro over here as fix it Felix. I can seal it. <laughs> now he starts um now I forgot to include the part where the chaos uh, starts cracking the more shells so and the shells start falling on Spyro as a way to make this game a bit more interesting. Sorry if I'm giving you electric epileptic seizures. <laughs> um and then suddenly the egg cracks normally and it's a giant dodo. I don't know. I just I just thought of something random about it. <laughs> and then here's the characters of all. Here's the, the we zoom out of. Let's see if there are any Easter eggs. Um, you see, I see um, I see Termodon Time, which is based on Lego Ninjago and uh, based on the Turbo game. I say Wacko's Root Beer Palace, and it features Wacko Warner. And I think that is Yakin. In Yakin, like a Tekken, but with Animaniacs. Oh, I got two different Animaniacs franchises. Oh, and there's Big Bug, which is like Dig Dug, but with insects. And yes, fellas, I actually drew these characters. I actually drew Raven and Cyborg here in the style of Teen Titans Go. Now, keep in mind, the hatred wasn't that extreme at the time. I didn't think... And the hatred on Teen Titans Go wasn't that huge. It, was, it wasn't until many, many, many years later. Okay, not many years later. I mean, like a couple of months later when the when Teen Titans Go's um, true colors started to change. Now, I personally don't despise Teen Titans Go. I mean, there are some episodes I found myself really liking and... And trust me, I have seen some worst of car of Cartoon Network before, or even heck, I have seen worse products of DC before. And then over here is in in Zim Invade Zim Invaders, which is like Space Invaders but with Invader Zim, and as Crash and Burn. <laughs> And I see Peace Boy as a piggy. As Iron Man from the Superhero Squad show. There's Warpath and as an Autobot Studi. Hey, they still got the still got the Wacko and Yakko thing. Sugar Cube Corner Carding. That's Sugar Rush. <laughs> Loney Combat. The reason why I have the Roadrunner as Cabal. Well, he's quite fast. He's got a little feathery thingy on his head. And there's the Angry Birds Arcade. <laughs> And here's Dance with Elena, where she uh, dances to different theme songs, including the the one over here is the Pink Panther theme by Hen, and the the composer. And here's over here is Looney example of Looney Combat, I think. Uh, I was I was all mixed up. I was I was not very consistent of whatever I was doing. I had Bugs Bunny as Ryu and Daffy Duck as uh, I had Daffy and his Ken. Obi Bison, Elmer Fudd, Balrog as Mo Vega as Marvin the Martian, Balrog as uh, as uh, Yosemite Sam. <laughs> There's a birthday cake. There's Star Strike. <laughs> you know, like they're just angry at him. <laughs> you see, I see crashed in the. I'm not sure why I included that part. 
And here are the characters of the bad guy, Anon. Some of them are villains and some... Now, these two over here and uh, and uh, this guy over here, they're, old, they're original characters that I was requested to include. I've forgotten their names. If, any, if, if, you're, if you're seeing this, uh, let me know what the characters' names are. I'll... Um, I'll um, I'll remember what they are next time. Or I can always just come back and take a look at them again. But uh, you might recognize everybody else. There's uh, Red Heavy. There's um, Dr. Nefarious from Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Red Heavy's from Team Fortress 2. There's The Brain as M. Bison. Brain from Pinky and the Brain as M. Bison from Street Fighter. Again, very inconsistent. Um, Dr. Neocortex. We'll see... Uh, the Mech Wolf from the Droopy shorts, as well as the Tom and Terry Kids shorts. There's Melina, and then there's Brawl. And there's Pinky from Pinky of the Rain as Zombie. Much, much of what I... what Much of the characters here are voiced by other people who volunteered to do some voice acting. And this guy over here, the voice actor, believe it or not, he also had he has a bit of a job in the animation industry. He he at one point was an art was an artist for Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's kind of and he also did some amazing art fan arts on my work. Like, like, and um <laughs> As, um, I'm not sure. Sometimes uh, my storylines are not that consistent. So I was talking about just Animal Face Off, which is a show I used to watch as a kid. It was on Discovery Channel. That guy, that guy. Everybody was clapping. Yeah, one of the criticisms I got for um, making these Crack of Chaos um, shorts is that um, they're not really. It's not really a parody. It's more or less um, a direct copy and. Um, a direct copy and the characters are just uh, re reciting lines for lines with very few new add-ons. That it's the 30 Thursday here, San anniversary of our game. <laughs> Nightmare Nikki's Medusa is just what I'm based on. This was um, she's also voiced by the creator of the character. I don't want to be a bad guy anymore. See, I told you the bloody parts was removed. <laughs> Termodon is like a Lord Garm... Is it Garmadon? From Nin Lego Ninjago. Oh yeah, this bit here, that's what's inspired. You know, th now this one is one of my favorite... Some of my favorite parts. So one of the few things I liked about Crack Chaos, this this... See, you know, you know, have, if any of you have played Ratchet and Clank, you know, um, Dr. Nevarez, when he goes really, really, really angry, he starts to short circuit and his brain starts playing, uh, some soap opera or something. He's like, uh, Quack! Ah, Janice, you will always be the love of my life. And you have to smack him in order to snap him out, like, Quack! Oh, and there's a hidden Mickey on... And the brain. <clears throat> mm. well, another thing to note, fellas, is that this was made um, two years. This was released two years before um, Skylanders Imaginators, and we all know what um, what happened in 2016 officially in Skylanders. And later in 2017, and 2019, and 2020, and 2023. Everybody's left leaving based on games. That's the Wampa Fruit. <laughs> Everybody's moving to that thing. Now here's um, some other Easter eggs. There's Kirby, there's Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple. Dressing up as Aku Aku. Um, over there, you, uh, what was passing earlier was Godzilla with boxing gloves like Alex from Tekken. There's Red from Angry Birds. There's Tom from Ed's World as Aku Aku. There's Iago from Aladdin with Guile's hairdo. There's Robocop with the, uh, huh, 
I just realized something. Robocop with the Cyrex may COVID thing. I just did I just did this video I made just predicted Robocop's involvement in Mortal Kombat 11? <laughs> I mean <laughs> I just re yeah, didn't realize that. <laughs> Anyways, um, we got Sly Snooker, which is like Sly Cooper, but with Snooker. Yoshi's Jitsu is like Yoshimitsu or a ninja game. Worms of War, which is based on both Worms and Hogs of War. Did you know that there's a game called Hogs of War and its formula is a little similar to Worms? That was supposed to be a sequel, but financial problems caused it to um, be cancelled. Jack and Dexter Slab... <laughs> It's a reference to Dexter's Lab and Jack and Dexter and Portal Combat. It's like Mortal Combat. Yeah, I think it's something with Portal. Huh. I think I I think my little pony pony live was pinching something from me. Anyways, um yeah, there's also Barbados on on top on top. From Spore Galactic Adventures. He's one of the mascots. And over here is that uh gecko guy from uh, I've forgotten his name. I think it's Vinny or something. From uh, Lola's Pet Shop 2012. And here's the, here's the random security check. Okay, behind uh, uh, Cortana, the uh, that that girl from Halo. Oh, there's Miji from Spore Hero. And then there's Kratos from the God of War. I was just... Um, I don't know why. I was just really into... Really, really... Uh, don't judge me, fellas. Don't judge me. <laughs> it was, um... Mm. Yeah, in fact, in case you don't know, Cortana is, a uh, Her role is based on that security guy who was voiced by one of the writers and directors of wreck and Ralph. Here we have Orson Pig as, I think, Marcus Felix from Gears of War, and there's Wade Duck as Mario. <laughs> Same with his hat. And we got the ang we got the good feathers as the angry birds. Because <laughs> I, I remember somebody on the internet saying that Pesto over here was the original angry bird. There's Michelangelo as uh, a coupling. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm busy, sorry. Um, okay, over here, I'm sorry about that, there was a bit of a pause for a minute, just had to do something. Over here we have, uh, Bob from Monsters vs. Aliens, and I think he was one of the Pac-Man ghosts, I think. And over here is Mr. Noisy as Raiden. As a little voice set, this, here's a little fun fact, in the American Mr. Men show... Mr. Noisy is voiced by Richard Epker, the voice of Raiden in Mortal Kombat from from tw 2008 to 2019. And we have over here is Gone, who I just realized wasn't a video game character. Uh, he actually originated from a manga, but he didn't become more well known to the pub to the world internationally until t until his guest appearance in Tekken 3. When asked if they were ever to bring him back, they're like, no, he's not our character. It's There's a licensing problem on that. Now over here we have, uh, speaking of Tekken, we have Wacko dressing up as a Jin from Tekken. And he, uh, and he does that little PSA thing about um, outside the game. Make sure you go to the bathroom, otherwise it's a rotten death for you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> And here's the Pokemon, and they were, they're meant to represent um, uh, Qbert. Pikachu and Totodile is. There's a funny thing: the voice actress who played Pikachu in my animation, uh, she also at one point played Apple Bloom in my other animations. And uh, funny enough, in the Japanese dub of My Little Pony. Uh, Apple Bloom is voiced by the same woman who would later be the voice who would also be. The voice of Pikachu, you know, like Pikachu, in both the Japanese and the English versions. <laughs> hey, mom, plug piece up. Oh, let's see. There's Jenny Wakeman as a. Go back for a minute. Um. 
This is gonna be a long commentary. Just uh, sorry about that. I see Captain Quark and Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot as Lollipop Chainsaw. I basically only wanted to do this because I because I wanted to draw characters as different char video game characters. Okay, that's part one done. <sighs> Let's go to part two. Here we go. Yeah, sorry if I'm doing epileptic seizures again. Uh, let me just... Happy 30th anniversary of Seal at Spyro. Yeah, funny enough, it'd be the 20th... I probably should have delayed this until 2018 or maybe 2028 because of the... Hey, that Vomper Tracy Marsupio isn't even part of this game. Ironically, because two years later, he would be. Now, like I said, I should have waited until 2018 or 2028 to probably do this a lot better because uh, it'd be the actual 30th anniversary of Spyro the Dragon. Should I? Um, sorry about that, fellas. These were... Actually, fun fact. Uh, these these um, these were the original animations. You know ding, you know, uh, Dino Rang and Rattlesnake Dancing? They were dancing over here. These were actually animated for this animation, and I basically reused them for my... Now that's what I call Skylanders poker animation. Here we have Spyro surrounded by Jade and Kitana. And Trigger Happy says you're wanted. Nowadays I would probably just have Trigger Happy surrounded by Jade and Kitana. And probably some other Mortal Kombat girls. <laughs> and I'd probably just have Spyro as uh, by himself. <laughs> no, never mind, I said <laughs> Sorry, the seizure thing is Eruptor dancing. I wonder, does anyone does anyone ever get an epileptic seizure over dance floors whenever you attend a party? There's a lot of flashing lights. It's chaos. And then let's see, there's Yoshi, there's Murray from Sly Cooper, and there's Laszlo dressing up as DD Kong. Make the party! And then Sunny Boom just hides herself in a chest. Do not open until chaos is gone. As Wham Shell. Okay, I'll go talk to him. <laughs> it's just some random talks of the um, stuff. Like I said, it was a short to shot re retell talks about the show. Oh, there's Clank. He plays that turtle guy. He affectionates co-sodium carbonated pastry, or in other words, cake. Oh, uh, just me is trying to speak in techno babble. Yes, for Clank. <laughs> I had him roll and hi everybody. Like uh. Like, uh, like, uh, Dr. Nick from Simpsons. Uh, Scratch is biting her nails. Shouldn't do that. They're part of your powers. Also, it's kind of... I heard it's immoral to, to trim the claws of a cat because they're actually part of the bone. Hmm. Is the anniversary cake, um... Eh. And then there's uh, a... <sighs> uh, if I, if I, if I've known better, I probably would have done a lot more to just retweak the script, make it not seem like I'm a, it's a shot to shot ripoff of Wreck It Ralph. Actually add in some more of my own dialogue rather than just copy pasting other person's homework and maybe reference other franchises. Maybe I have a better chance doing a parody of Ralph Breaks the Internet than Wreck-It Ralph. Perhaps to some people, i probably make a better Ralph, the, Ralph Breaks the Internet movie than what, a fish, what Disney actually does. Now like I said, Wreck-It Ralph is my most favorite uh, of the Walt Disney Animation films. Now I don't think there, there are... They're completely at the bottom. 
um, that with Wish, I'm, I, I think they can still bounce back even after a few fa They have done so many times. 1940s, they had um, they they were bombing a bit because of World War II, Ooh. um, but uh, they bounced back in the 50s. This 60s is when Walt Disney passed, and 70s they were um, a little something. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, this is one of my favorite gags. This is another favorite gag of mine. Wait, wait. Says, no, I'm not. Yes, he is. That's what little the cream says. Um, the sixties, Walt died. In the seventies, not so much, except for Robin Hood. Eighties, they were almost gonna go bankrupt, but thanks to Little Mermaid and the Great Mouse Detective, they bought themselves back up again. In the nineties, they were really smashing it with their with the, at the box office. Hit after hit after hit. <laughs> um, and then, um, but then in the two thousands, it went slowing down again because of three D animation being, being the, um, because of three D animation being a thing thanks to Pixar. But he bounced back again. And but thanks to Chicken Little, even though it wasn't that great of a film by most people. Well, they managed to become financially stable again, and thanks to the 2010s, we got films like Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, uh, Big Hero 6, Zootopia, Moana, The Light, Frozen 2, and and so forth. And that those were massive hits at the box office. Um, and the 2020s, uh, thanks to the pandemic, uh, things are not doing so great. But I'm sure Disney will find a way to bounce back again. Huh, wow, wow, that looks like Ash's hat from Pokemon. You don't suppose? Wait, huh, huh. Ash's... Wacko was dressed up as Ash. And it looks like Homer Simpson over here is Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey wanted Donkey Kang. Believe it or not, that was a, that was that was based on an old uh, meme of how uh, a, a Jeopardy con contestant got an answer wrong, got a question wrong. The answer was a blue hedgehog creature who is really fast and wears wings. And what's her answer? Who's Donkey Kang? <laughs> and people have making have been making a meme about it and have. I think I, I think I saw a drawing of that in uh, in well when I was playing Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U. Come on, one second. The music I used was from uh, was not a was not a eight bit rendition of Turkey in the Straw. It was a it's actually taken from uh, from the Animaniacs episode Turkey something, where this hunter was trying to catch a turkey. And then he also said, Be gone, pests, and give me the bird. We love to, really, but the fox censors won't allow it. Over here, we got, um, he's serving uh, root beer to Sub-Zero, Aeon, the Lizard Man, and King from Tekken. He's from Soul Calibur. And he's representing the fighting games. And he serves to... Sackboy, Daxter, and um, one of those uh, PlayStation mascot cats that are representing PlayStation. This is representing Xbox with Master Chief, Banjo, and uh, uh, that horse guy from Viva Piñata. And of course the Nintendo ones. It was Toad, Birdo, and uh, the Me. Uh, maybe I should have done something a little bit more in the background. This is the Lost and Founds. Have you seen the stars? It's a reference to another game, but uh, I forgot what it was. And that's definitely from Minecraft. This is, um, this is, um, he was, this is, um, I think it's Didi. Didi from, uh, Augie and the Cockroaches. And he's wearing, a um, a um, and a costume based on Zapper, which is a game I used to play hey, that focuses on a little cricket creature um, trying to f rescue some, uh, was it eggs? Some cricket eggs and stuff like that. It has to go against this uh, a bird villain. Huh. I think that was supposed to be uh, the Sims triangle thing. 
That's the head of Excel from Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Yeah, I see Ty, and I see uh, Uncle Grandpa as the moms. You want it? It's yours, my friend guy. I see Billy as uh, Olimar. And I see the um. I see there over here is Bulkhead from Transformers. Just designed in Transformers Prime, and he's uh. He's playing the role of Markowski from Wreck It Ralph, the coward. I actually want I actually wanted to do the um I wanted actually wanted to do the uh animated version of Bulkhead more, but I figured the uh prime version was a bit easier to do. And also easy I was wondering if I should do the uh Bill Fager Bake voice or the Kevin Michael Richardson type of voice. Uh, maybe I I think I'm, I think I might have done a poll on something like that, and I asked if people wanted me to do use a prime bulkhead or animated bulkhead, and most people preferred the prime bulkhead, or maybe because he was a popular thing at the time. <laughs> There's the DD <Didi> again. <laughs> Sand, mud, and eel flavor. That's the, uh, those are the soda flavors that Chaos, uh, used to make with his own soda back in Skylander's Giant. Heck, the eel flavor made a comeback in Skylander's Trap Team. Uh, the, uh, it, it was used to defeat the gulper. And there's also mint and cherry. I think I did a Wilhelm scream part. Oh, I didn't realize you could make Transformers naked. Technically, you make them in their protoforms form mode. Anyways, let's go to the final part. Yeah, after getting those criticisms, I feel like uh, I couldn't do this anymore. So, I didn't want to leave it on a cliffhanger. So, this is how I really ended the short. There's Gex... There's the King of Dinosaurs from King of Fighters. Star Tris is a uh, Star Tetris is like Star Trek. There's the two extra OCs by by a friend by a user. Hooked up. He's in arcade jail. And then there's Cortana again. Talking about some stuff. Now, I had some other ideas for who should be, um... I'll tell you, I'll get that in a minute. You see, Cortana is still using her mo her calculation device, I think. Yeah, there's, uh... <laughs> there's, uh, Lorax says Cubert, and this thing here is, I speak for the Yuri Warp, for the Yuri Warp has no tongue, and I'm asking you, sir, at the top of my lungs. <laughs> There's Termodon, and he's in jail, and then, and there's Engine. <laughs> Here's the cat in the hat as Blinks the cat, I think. Why fit in when you're programmed to stand out? I think that was a quote from Dr. Zeus. So, oh, yeah, this is a uh, King Termodon was supposed to be, uh, um, King Sombra in disguise, like uh, how King Can Turbo was disguised as King Candy. <laughs> so apparently, so this is their fate now. The Pokemon they got a job as hot dog stand-ins. You know, like in Kirk, the previous one with the hot dog thing, they serve their hot dog to rain. That must be, must be electrifying. There's Korra from uh, Light Seekers, which I thought was going to be the next Skylanders, but uh, didn't go very far. Yeah, there's Derpy over there. Ooh, she's she's the um, she's visiting and she's in Vanellope. And then there's King K. Rule in the Wanted poster. And this is um this is um. This was recorded using the Spore game. In fact, the entire Autobots duty se segment was supposed to be fully using um, uh, the Spore backgrounds. 
and um, I'd be using as many different transformers I can as possible. Got Optimus, Bumblebee, Warpath, and Sideswipe here. We have Ironhide in his vehicle mode. We have uh, Kickback. We have um, we have Bombshell or Hardshell nowadays, and we have Shropno or Scropno or was it Sharpshot? Yeah, yeah, the names of the Insecticons this kind of vary. In fact, a lot of Transformers names vary depending on which time you're in, like um, or which franchise or which medium you you're reading or watching. Like um, Jetfire was called Skyfire in um, the Transformers G1 cartoon, hmm. but now, but in every other product after every other franchise afterwards, he's called Jetfire. And then there's Rumble and Frenzy, and in the com in the comics and in the toys, uh, Frenzy is blue, Rumble is red. In the cartoon, it's Frenzy who's red and Rumble is blue. And there were some other ideas for Transformers, whose roles in as the hero's duty characters, like uh, Calhoun was originally supposed to be played by um, Alita One and Optimus. Yeah, this Optimus uh, was supposed to play. Um, was supposed to play the the guy Kowloon was gonna marry before his demise. They put trip programmed with a tragic backstory, and that's about it, really. And I see Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple. A oh, bulkhead is naked after serving his sentence, and he's got the wrecking ball chained to him. Maybe I was a bit mean in this. Maybe I was a bit too mean for this part. Sometimes I can be a bit mean to myself. <clears throat> Just some um, Spyro displaying some things. And uh, Gilgrunt has uh, finally been locked up for tormenting chaos. Like that. And the song I used is, uh, you're going to hate me for this, Nicki Minaj's Anaconda. <laughs> it's meant to torment Gilgrunt. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at her. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't Nicki Azalea, otherwise I'd be really, really ticked. <laughs> Anyways, um... You may not be a bad guy. You may be a bad guy in our game, but you don't have to be a bad guy if you're not on the job. So what do we do to end this video? Hmm. Any idea? I, I may be a bad guy, but I am good inside. I'm chaos, the crack it guy. Boop, boop. Now, fun fact, I actually wanted to end my Crack It Chaos animation just like that. And um, there was one scene I did think about when, when you know the scene when wreck and Ralph goes against Turbo in his uh, cyber bug form? And when he said, it's just game over for both of you. No, just me. And then Ralph drops down to hit the last thing. I was going to, one idea was that um, he um, and in chaos with, Say that same line, but then he will eat some spinach and then burst into action and then um, starts punching. Maybe start punching in ter Termodon in a in a, as an Insecticon down into the thing, so he's completely destroyed. Uh, something like that. It's um, it's one way to tie in with the pop, I think. And later, I was also going to include a part where Rolf. Wreck-It Rolf, Vanellope, and Kowloon, the, the actual characters, they look at, they come over to, to Chaos and the others, and they are about to attack him. <laughs> and there was also a wedding scene I thought about where um, he says something about, uh, when did it get busy? And then Wacko goes, good night, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, but if it wasn't for the criticism or the hard drive malfunction, I probably would just ignore everything and just go straight forward with the crack of chaos idea and um just go with the flow but 
because of that ideology and I just wasn't feeling it anymore, I had to scrap it. I right, don't worry, fellas. I still have a love for Skylanders University. I won't do a commentary on that yet, but I will try and finish it as long as it, as long as it takes, even if it takes me many, many more years, and even if it takes me over since it has been about ten, nearly ten years since I've if released the first part of um, Skylanders University, as well as some of the other parts later. But I still want to do that those parts. The crack, crack it chaos? No, not really. I don't want to go back. Maybe I'll do a Ralph Breaks the Internet parody someday, but um, um, aside from that, nah. But uh, if you if you have if you enjoyed the first two parts, or or even ironically this part as well, more power to you. You can even write rewrite your own fanfic about this if you like. Uh, thank you for joining me, and or or maybe I can re maybe I can write a, a written version of what I originally had in mind for this. Uh, but that's about it, really. Hope you've enjoyed this video.